guys, what is up? It's Gianna. So obviously, as you can see, I am in the car and I promise you that I am not doing a carpool karaoke because your ears will most likely bleed. Um, <clears throat> and nobody really wants that. So for today's video, this is another practical video. People keep asking me to do them. So I mean, I gotta give the viewers what they want. You know what I mean? So for me personally, I'm always running late to school. When I don't take the bus, my mom drives me to school because I don't have my license yet. I have a permit. <laughs> And sometimes while I'm getting ready and I'm running late, I do not have time to put on makeup. And obviously nobody wants to see this disaster, honestly. Like, ugh. Most of the time I really don't put makeup on much at school because I'm just so freaking lazy. And sometimes when I want to put just a little bit of effort in, which barely happens, um, I would just uh, do some makeup in the car. And this is a very, very simple five minutes and under tutorial thing. Ugh. I don't really even need a mirror to do this except mascara because it's just so easy and simple. And you could do this makeup in your car and you don't even have to bring it into school. So you could just leave it in your car, you know? So like you want to have to put it in your backpack as well. You could just keep it in like a little compartment or something. And I just wanted to make it more realistic by being in the car instead of just being in a regular studio. Let's get right on into this. I have my little makeup bag here. Shout out to my best friend Emma for buying this for me. I love you. All you need for this tutorial is just like one brush really. Okay, so the first step I personally do because I just need my makeup to stay on all day and that is primer. I have this really really cheap primer from e.l.f. to put a little bit on my face. I'm really not even using mirror at this point. I'm just gonna put it on my face. It's kind of like a moisturizer as well. God, I'm so freaking ugly. <laughs> okay, so after you're putting that primer on, next thing you want to do, I do not want to do foundation in the car. If I'm running late, I do not have time to put on foundation or baby cream or whatever. So I just go straight to concealer. I have two concealers I wanted to show you guys that I would use. I personally like to just use pot concealers when I'm running late because it's just easy just to wipe it under your eyes and it still has good coverage instead of using a beauty blender and everything. So this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and this is obviously really expensive. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know why I bought this, but it's really, really good and it lasts a long time. I had this forever. But if you do not have a pot concealer and if you don't want to buy one, I recommend the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. It's good for your pimples, your acne, whatever, because it also has like some type of a salicylic acid in it that helps, you know, get rid of your acne while covering it. And it's just super easy to put on. I'm going to use this little NARS thing. I'm going to put some under my eyes. All that dark circles because I know in high school you're going to be freaking waking up at like 5 a.m. And it's freaking annoying as heck. And, God, it's the worst thing ever. I'm just putting some under my eyes, barely even looking. Putting some on this scar right here. I'm not really covering up my whole face with concealer. I'm just putting it where I need it. Oh, crap. I forgot to use this concealer. Oh, my God. How do I forget these things, bro? Oh, my God. I hate having any HD. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on just to show you guys. I don't really need a beauty blender for this, but I just brought one anyways. You could get like one of those mini beauty blenders as well, but they're just, just kind of like waste of money to me. So, where do I put this? I'm gonna just show you guys. I could just use a beauty blender, or you could just use your fingers like this if you use the liquid concealer, or you could just use your beauty blender right here and just tap it in. All right, so I have my concealer on. As you can see, I'm a little bit more presentable uh, and less ugly. And the next thing I do is put on some powder. Okay, so I actually need powder because I have oily skin, so I'm gonna be really, really oily if I just put just liquids on my skin. I like to just use a regular pressed powder. This is so much easier. This is the Super Stay Better Skin Maybelline Skin Transforming Powder. I love the line of Super Stay Better Skin by Maybelline. I just always loved it i don't know why it just makes me more confident that my skin won't break out from the makeup bag oh my god this is literally oh my god it's literally the only brush that i brought into my makeup bag because you could pretty much use it for anything. Okay, so after you put on this powder, I personally like to use bronzer because after I do concealer and powder, it just makes me feel like my face is so washed out and white. It's <laughs> but if you're tan already and you don't need bronzer, then this is really not needed. And it's easier to just have the travel size bronzer, but I don't have one personally, so I'm just going to use my Hula Benefit bronzer. And this is a powder brush. This is not a bronzer brush, but you could use it as a bronzer brush if you squeeze it up like this. Life hack. All you have to do is pretty much pinch your two fingers like this, kind of have like that contour effect, put it in your powder and just go like this. It's literally a DIY bronzer brush. Next thing, people love highlighter and I wouldn't just do highlighter because it's just an extra step, but most people like to do highlighter and it just brings out your face a little bit more. So I would like to do a cream highlighter instead of a powdered highlighter because you need another brush to carry and it's bigger and it's just, it's so annoying. So I have this Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix highlighting stick. I know Revlon, I never use this brand ever. This is actually a really good highlighter. Even though it's on top of powder, I do not like putting cream on top of powder. This is like a cream to powder finish, so, so it doesn't really like clump up all the powder on your face so i just go like this 
and you just tap it on your skin a little bit. I also like to put it under my eyebrows a little bit and in the inner corner of my eyes and just a little bit on my nose. It's just a little extra something something that is really not needed, but if you want to put highlighter on, you can put on highlighter and this is a really good choice. So, so two more steps. Uh, all we need to do now is eyebrows and mascara. So for eyebrows, I do not want to fill my eyebrows in the car. It's going to be moving. I'm going to freaking, I don't even know what's going to happen. It's just going to be really bad. I like to just use a tinted brow gel to fill in my brows because it's just really easy and it just puts your eyebrows in place. I got this uh, brow gal tonia crooks instant brow hair tinted brow gel with micro this is a really long name but i got this it's like the benefit gimme brow so you could pretty much use either or or you could get like the essence one that one's really good there's a lot of different brands that have different types of eyebrow gels but all i want to do is just put some on my eyebrows real quick but i need to i need a mirror for this because my eyebrows cannot be messed up i'm like looking up Okay, so I brushed out my eyebrows with that, and it just makes my eyebrows a little bit more defined, make it look a little bit more fuller, obviously. Okay, so the last step every girl pretty much uses in life, and that is mascara. And I have this Essence Volume Style Mascara, and I'm just going to put this on my eyelashes, and we'll pretty much be done. So I'm going to put that on my eyelashes real quick. I got some freaking mascara on my eyebrow. Oh my god. I recommend just springing like a Q-tip, but I kind of forgot about that. And also, if you like to do something with your lips, I just like to put on chapstick, it's just really easy. You don't want your lips to be really crusty and everything, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And let me know in the comments what other videos you guys would like to see from me. So yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Tres, two, uno. Why is this happening? What the? Why are people? Dude, don't go, don't go in my driveway. Please don't go in my driveway. Please don't go in my driveway. Please don't knock on my car. You better not walk. Oh my God, he's staring at me. Dude, the guy's staring at me. The guy, the, the guy's staring at me. The guy's staring at me.